penalty for not getting on board at the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, sorry to say. Um, but that's a, a tool okay. that could yeah. be, you know, yeah. kind of leverage. Javier and Sandy, do you guys have any questions? Oh, I'm inclined to join ESC regardless one way or the other. Because I think we can't replicate all those services in house. And so that would be just nuts to get sidetracked by some of the political stuff that's going on here. So my we're sense of it is we're leaning we're that way get on board sooner than later. We're yeah. small, we can't do it ourselves. Those pretty much in marching orders. Good. So what's the best way for me to send edits or just bring, well, some of them are just edits, just send edits. So what has worked best, whenever we tried to do a big group thing, I think it intimidated people and they didn't want to kind of write stuff in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. so just send them to me. Yeah. If I think you have anything creates a problem, I'll discuss it with people I think it creates a problem with and I'll come back to you if there are. Uh, otherwise, I'm just weaving everything that I think that can be easy consensus on into it mm -hmm. and making something that I think is reflective of the community. Mm -hmm. So just send them to me. Yeah. And um, if you want, I can give you a document that you can edit because you just have a PDF right now. Right. I can give you a word or something yeah. just, you know, just for you and you just edit it and give it back to me. And or set it up as a drive document. Right? Yeah. And Christian, I think you heard me say this, but um, not everybody has, so I'm going to mention it. I'm really concerned that the ESC, as it's presented, does not have enough support in the business office. I think that if and I've talked to Peter about this, so this is nothing new between the two of us, but um, I think that even though there may be some changes on the horizon and some efficiencies and some um, improvements to the business office, I think that if we're starting an ESC, that now is the time to add staff because I think if you propose an, an additional person next year or the year after, it's not the right way to do it. I've heard some concerns from other town selectmen, not our town, and some different people um, that share a concern about this too. And it's not to um, uh, disparage the business office as it is now. I just think that there's a lot of work and potentially not enough staff. Um, so that would be my one concern with how the ESC is laid out. I know that people are against adding staff in all sorts of different ways because taxes are going to go up but i think that if we want this to be successful that considering adding another position in the business office would be a smart move that's it i don't disagree it's hard to be an ed and a cfo yeah at the same time so but um so yeah so that's i think we're all kind of on the same page with where you do a straw vote. Okay, well, if anybody wants to make any further comments, just send them as an email to me before the end of this week. Great. Thank you for representing us. Okay. All good. New business. We do not have any staff nominations. Uh, policy. So you wanted to add your second. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Policy, I think we need to put on the agenda for next month's van policy. And if, um, if we can get any van policy that GSB or Jefferson has, that would be really helpful um, for us to look at that. Um, I just wanted to introduce the idea um, that his, uh, of secondary transportation as we are preparing to do our budget for next year. Um, we have approximately 30 students that go up to Lincoln Academy from our town plus or minus one or two. Um, I think we have plus or minus eight or nine kids that actually ride the bus because like my son can drive. So I wave to them as Colin and Michael go off. Um, and that's the case for a lot of a lot of the upperclassmen. Um, so we're basically paying $75,000 to transport eight to 10 kids up to Lincoln Academy. So we've talked about this before. Um, we've never done anything about it. Um, in the past, we have said that um, when our bus goes up the peninsula and then drives to Lincoln Academy, they can pick up any kid along the way. However, this year, it's the first year that I've known about it. I don't know if it's the first year it's happened. It goes school street. It's from my understanding, and this may have changed because it's a little bit of a moving target with the first week of school. It's going up to NC Hunt and then going to Lincoln Academy. So our kids are getting up to meet a bus here at like 650. We're paying for the whole run and we're probably 
at least doubling the number of students on the bus as we go out of our way to get to Lincoln Academy. Right. Um, we just no one asked, you know. So this is this is something that's happening right now. Don't want to put any wrenches in the works right now, but I think as we think about budgeting, we really need to think about if there's a way we can get our kids up to Lincoln Academy um, with less time and potentially less money. If we want to talk to Dan Rashkata about shipping in for our bus route, I know they won't want to, but the other alternative for them is probably a, another bus or a lot longer bus routes. Um, for them. So uh, any suggestions from other towns, any way that we can do it, you know, another van. I don't know how we can really predict how many kids each year are going to want to buy the bus. Like I would sign off for my kids right now. I'm not riding the bus. Um, I think a bunch of families would do that, but I don't know how that, I don't know how, how that's done in places. So I just want to kind of lay the groundwork for us to think about it so that we can um, think about it and see if there's any other ways we can do it to budget for next year. That makes sense. Yeah, completely. Yeah. And it's weird because we the town pays for a student, but the town doesn't pay Lincoln Academy. So it's it's also just gotten convoluted in the communications this year. Um, but they're um, they're working it out. Got a um, good response back from Eugene. Yeah, I still unfortunately right now, if you uh, as a parent of, of a student in South Bristol, I don't have a bus schedule that would tell you. Where to go? If I looked at the bus schedule, I'd go to Euclid, and my kid wouldn't make it to school because they wouldn't stop there. That's true. So it's, if, the if, if the bus driver who knows the route is absent, then where are they going to stop? You know. Yeah, so, um, but it was the email was good to like kind of. It's a good start. Uh, yeah, so it was a good start. What I appreciated was the tone was much better. Yeah, it was a different person probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Uh, long range planning. Um, we uh, did not have a meeting in August. Um, our last one was like June, I think, July, sorry. Um, things were, people got kind of nutty at the end of August and um, we decided to postpone that till early September. Um, but, uh, you know, there's a great agenda, full agenda developing as we speak. So. Um, I'm going to have to sort of pare that down. Um, I think we uh, may, at our next meeting, may take our first vote. I told everybody at the beginning of the ResCom committee that um, I'm going to keep votes to a minimum because they were all worried about what happens if. <laughs> just like Peter, it's like, I don't, just let's not vote. <laughs> we don't have to worry about it. Um, but uh, anyways, um, I think we'll develop some uh, subcommittees in the next meeting go over some of the uh, existing RSU plans and um, to assign some of those subcommittees to different sections like governance and finance and things like that where they can meet and, and develop uh, a plan and um, and develop some um, public uh, documents and status reports and things like that so um, I think that will be at least a few things on the agenda for the next meeting. Great, thank you. Any uh, future board topics? I added the van policy for it. Oh, van policy, yep. oh, I was going to ask where that goes. Does it go under policy? Or does it go under future uh, I put board it in a future topic. Okay. When we do the agenda, it will go under policy. But... Okay. Great. Anything else? Without objection, I declare the meeting adjourned at 7.04. Thank you. 7.04 is pretty good, isn't it? It is really good.